Hello there, welcome back to the channel. So here with another Boom Beach Warships video. In this video guys, I wanna show you, right now I'm rank 16, and um, I got a comment in one of my videos about how easily my base could be destroyed. And while true, um, I usually end up winning by time. You know, it doesn't matter the level of the offense that the enemy has, they take about a minute 20 to a minute 50 seconds to always sometimes two minutes to destroy my base and i can usually destroy their bases in a lot less time than that so this is a victory you see took two minutes 50 seconds actually a minute 10 seconds to destroy he took a minute 28 seconds to destroy my base so let's take a look at my replay first um, and then we'll take a look at his replay So that's his layout, you know, pretty standard um, sort of bases spread out. Those are max level riflemen, max level sukas, uh, level one average park. Um, and as you can see, I have a three riflemen, three riflemen, three suka, two medic boats, um, max level boats, max level barrage, max level artillery. Um, and you know, my strategy is, you know, I want to let my guys spread out, take all of those units right here, as you can see. So I'm going to take half the base out so I don't have to deal with the other stuff. There were a lot more mines on the front beach, so that's why I didn't decide to go that way. Apologies for the audio, I don't have my headphones. So, you know, no flaring, nothing is needed. In fact, my flare is still level 1. Um, I, do, I did unlock smoke. But I don't think it's going to end up, you know. So you can see my units are slowly but surely taking the place at the end when I'm sure I'm gonna have to destroy that one, send three barrages, three artilleries, and then that base is gonna be destroyed. And that's that, guys. You know, it took me, what, a minute, 10 seconds, if I'm not mistaken, to destroy his base. So let's take a look at his replay, you know, what he ended up doing, right? Oh, uh, no, we could, oh, actually, we can still see it. We can still see it, right, if we go here. So, you know, that is my base, right? Um, nothing too fancy. I mean, um, I cannot see the levels. Um, three, uh, five core base, um, the same thing that he has, but this is a kiting base, sort of using the same strategy that, um, that I use for hammermen, sort of guiding people. Because if they land on both sides, they cannot flare. If they land on one side, then I have time on my side. <laughs> so I'm gonna win that, that sort of scenario. So you see, he landed on one side, um, average park with heavies and sukas. Um, that was four boats of heavies, three boats of sukas and average park, no healers, right? Um, and that's okay, all right? He, he decided to go for the shock launcher, right? A lot of people decide, you know, the, the mistake is to actually shock or destroy defenses, right? Um, I'm guessing they're trying to save their units, um, you know, and that's, you know, commendable, but you see that he cannot take that base on the top. He cannot take this base or that base right now. He will have to flare back. This one, it's taking it, you know, it's taking it slowly, right? But that's 45 seconds. Remember, I finished this in a minute and uh, in a minute, 10 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So he still has to return back to destroy that other one. You know, he will either have to send flares or send a barrage or do something but here you know that's that's sort of the standard you know what i always see he's sort of letting that one be letting the critters do what they do best um but i mean it's too late i already i already won with respect of time so again you know that's that victory right there i took i took 30 less seconds 30 actually 28 less 18 less seconds than he did to destroy a base, my base being, you know, weaker than his. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, I know it's short and sweet and to the point, but I, I just wanted to highlight this out. Um, ha have a good day and take care. So, let's check it out.